Universal Robots is a tool that helps people. It's a fundamental paradigm shift in how robots are viewed. The more people we can free up from working like robots, the better. For us to be able to have that type of success out of the gate was phenomenal and totally unexpected. I think robots are fascinating because they are machines, but they kind of resemble humans. And I think it's deeply fascinating for people to try to understand ourselves through technology. And I think that's what robots really do to people. My main source of inspiration is simply talking to other people. It starts with an idea. And these ideas thrive in environments where a lot of people from different areas and different cultures meet. I guess I was always attracted to robots. During my childhood I did play a lot with Lego and when I got a Commodore 64 I spent most uh, days uh, programming that. Before Universal Robots started, industrial robots were these big machines behind fences that were stealing people's jobs or doing repetitive work, doing the same work 24-7. They were not flexible, they were not easy to use and they were not a tool for, to help people do their work. So what we wanted to do at Universal Robots was to make robots accessible to people, change who could use robots, change what robots could be used for basically make robots into this tool that help people become robot programmers rather than working like robots. We could see that we needed a different kind of robot to fulfill the needs of the, the typical small medium sized manufacturing company. And that's why we made these robots that are easy to use, easy to move around, safe to be around and can be programmed by a different kind of people. I not been to automation school, I'm actually a journeyman machinist. And just, if you understand just basic logic, you can do an unbelievable amount with the universal robots. It was the first time I've ever dealt with the collaborative robot, so it, it took about two days for me to actually figure it out and get everything programmed. They become kind of a partner to a person that goes around and helps them with the drudgery. We started seeing robots, you know, pop up, you know, in the 90s and stuff, and I never would have believed that I'd get to work with robots one day. I think it's awesome. Welcome everybody. <laughs> we have launched what we call UR Academy, which is a training platform that allows the end customers to get free online training in using the robot. So the Academy is lifting people up and increasing robot literacy. When we started, we had no idea how to build a company. We basically just made a plan, we went for it, and of course the plan didn't work, but the goal was the right one. We wanted to have a production, make the robots, ship the robots, and make money this way. So the Danish Growth Foundation invested in the company. They found a businessman looking for challenges and uh, he also invested in the company. I believe in this notion of doing good and doing well. And uh, doing well is of course making money, doing good is doing something good for people. We wanted to make robots into these tools that freed up people from working like robots. And we could see that need uh, in Denmark and actually globally. So that's what we set out to do. We launched a new concept we call Universe Robots Plus, and uh, this concept is that we open the robot as a platform so other, you can say, high-tech companies can add content or functionality to the robot. It opens up a lot of doors to do a lot of things that, that we're just now beginning to, to look at. No one is going to lose their job to a robot. We're trying to put more value add to them to train them new skills, whether it's a different operation or they'll become the robot supervisor in that area, they'll be doing the inspections. We still haven't reached even close to all the places we think we could use them. We can see that the companies buying a lot of our robots, they end up hiring more people. So it's not just replacing people, it's actually growing their business because it creates value. And the value it creates is a new kind of value. It's not just cost reduction, it's actually more customized product, higher technology product. Collaborative robots is kind of the hottest area in, in, in robots. So somehow we just started something that is of global strategic importance. When we sold the company to Teradyne, it was of course a big milestone, so I started sleeping better at night because, you know, it was pretty stressful up until that time with the money. I bought a piano and then I went to work like I always have. For me it was never about the money, it was really about what robots can do to humanity or to people. So I don't think it would make sense to stop now. And I still think that uh, the world needs more technology and more, and more robots. I think there's a lot of good to be uh, done still in robotics.